I just got my weekly grocery delivery from Greenheart Organic Farms. So I wanted to share with you guys what I pick up typically from week to week and how I use it, just to give you some ideas on how you can incorporate more produce and more healthy foods into your diet. So we first have to start with the greens. I got a lot of dark leafy greens. First up, we got some Swiss chard. And if you haven't had Swiss chard before, what are you waiting for? It's so good. It's really similar to spinach in taste in that it's very mild. The leaves are nice and soft. And what I really love is that it has these beautiful rainbow colored stems. Rainbow chard does. Regular chard does not. Uh, but I like the rainbow chard. And you can actually eat these. So what I like to do is I just chop off the bottom. I discard the bottom part. But then I slice these pretty thin and I saute this first with garlic and oil for about a minute or two just to soften. And then I add in the chopped uh, Swiss chard leaves and it's absolutely delicious and it's ready in like five minutes for a really easy dark leafy green side dish. Or what I sometimes like to do if I want to do just a one pan vegetarian dish, I'll add some beans when I'm cooking the stems at the same time. And again, the whole thing is done in five to seven minutes, so it's super quick. I also picked up some parsley. Every week I have fresh herbs in my house because they add a ton of flavor to whatever it is that you're making. They're extremely versatile and you can put them in so many things. So I know back in the day before I was really into healthy eating and healthy cooking, I would sometimes buy fresh herbs and use just a little small handful for one recipe and then end up tossing the rest because I never used it. But now that never happens in my house because I know I can use fresh herbs in just about every dish from salads to dressings to sauces to eggs in the morning. Uh, there's just so many ways that you can use them. So never let them go to waste. Always find something to put it on and you can put it on just about anything. I also got some arugula, which is nice. Uh, I'm used to usually getting it in the plastic container, but I like this. Uh, obviously it's a lot fresher. It was picked this morning. And I love arugula and other bitter foods because they're really supportive for our digestive system. So you may have heard of digestive enzymes. Sometimes people will take them as a supplement in order to help them digest better. And you can actually, you don't need the supplement if you start consuming more bitter foods. Bitter foods prime our body for digestion. So for example, if you start your meal with a arugula salad, your body gets that sweet, uh, excuse me, that bitter taste and it will prompt your digestive system to start secreting digestive enzymes, which will then help you break down whatever other foods you're gonna eat after this. So I highly recommend bitter foods and arugula is a really tasty one. It's usually nice and peppery and you can make a really simple salad. I have so many different arugula salad recipes on my site. I also got, I like to get a few different types of greens every single week. So we got the chard and then I also got this, this type of spinach. This is called Kalu spinach and it has this beautiful purple, purpley red um, component of it. And whenever I see that color, I'm thinking nutrients. And this color, typically anything dark purple, black, blue, and even some reds, is an indicator of anthocyanins, which is a phytochemical or a class of phytochemicals that are being studied for their anti-cancer potential and anti-cancer benefits. So I try to get I try to get the entire rainbow in every every week for sure, uh, but the red, the black, the blue, the purple, those colors in particular tend to be really potent and health supportive. So I always try to get those in. So this is um, this is that. This is an heirloom variety. You might be able to find this at a farmer's market near you. And what I do with it, it's similar to regular spinach. I just saute it with a little bit of garlic and olive oil. Next up, we got some butternut squash. I usually just peel this and roast it, add a little bit of salt, sometimes other spices. One of my favorites, put that here. I also got some zucchini uh, and I love, these are always in my, uh, my order because they're so versatile as well. You can, if you have a spiralizer, you can make noodles with them. Or what I personally love to do is I just slice them and then roast them for about 15 to 20 minutes with a little bit of salt, sometimes a little bit of thyme and rosemary as well. And it's absolutely delicious. I also sometimes put these in scrambles in the morning. So I'll just 
Again, chop them really small and then uh, saute it with some either garlic or onions or other veggies and then add a couple of eggs to that for a nice veggie scramble. We got some bananas and these are a little bit green, but what I like to do is I wait until they are starting to brown a little bit, get those brown spots on them, and then I peel them, break them in half, put them in a Ziploc bag and freeze. This makes the creamiest smoothies and smoothie bowls, so that's usually what I, what I do with these. I'm running out of space here. Okay, what else? We got some cruciferous veggies up next. We have some cauliflower, some broccoli. Cruciferous veggies are a family of veggies that are known for helping to support our body's detox systems and also for their anti-cancer potential. So these are some of the healthiest foods that we can eat. I try to eat at least one serving of them, if not more, every single day or at least multiple times a week. Uh, so versatile, so many things that you can do. The easiest is of course just roasting them, a little bit of olive oil and spices. Sometimes with the cauliflower, I like to saute this or stir fry this on like a medium temperature with garlic and ginger and turmeric, really good. Uh, I have tons of cauliflower and broccoli recipes on my site, so there's just so many ways that you can use these. And also there's a post about cruciferous veggies. There's so many different cruciferous veggies, including Brussels sprouts, kale, cabbage, and so many more. So check out that post if you want to learn which veggies are cruciferous veggies uh, so you make sure that you're adding them into your diet on the regular. Now as you'll see, some of the foods that Greenheart sends are not in plastic bags. They really only put the plastic bags on the greens because otherwise the greens would get damaged. And I really like that because I try to minimize plastic as much as possible. But you don't want to stick these in your fridge just like this because they're going to get rubbery really quickly and they're going to go bad. So what I like to do is I just bought these really inexpensive organic cotton produce bags and so I'll just throw these in here and then that way when I put them in the fridge it'll make sure that they stay crisp. For some snacks I got some little baby cucumbers and we love just if we're hungry before dinner just snacking on these instead of crackers or anything dry also super hot here I'm in Dubai so it's, with the humidity it feels like 120 degrees sometimes so it's very hot uh, so anything refreshing is uh, is better for, for me in my opinion so I love having um, cucumber for snacks they're really water dense so they're nice and filling uh, and of course refreshing so these I'll also put into a little bag I could do that later oh I got some new peppers this week I am a huge proponent of buying produce that you've never seen before and you don't know what to do with, and then Google it and figure it out. So this is the case uh, this week for me. I bought these really cool looking peppers. I I can't remember if they're sweet. I buy so, so much produce. I can't remember if they're sweet or, um, or spicy, so I am gonna have to taste them and figure that out. Um, this one looks like a little habanero. Okay, I remember now. They look like habaneros, but they're actually sweet. So they're more like a bell pepper than a spicy pepper. So yeah, so I bought these. I wanted to um, try them out. And it's just good to have variety in terms of your produce. You don't want to get stuck in a rut where you're literally buying the same broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, kale every single week. That variety adds different nutrients, adds different benefits, different types of fiber. Uh, so it's just a really good idea to mix it up whenever you can just try new new stuff we also got some chickpea pasta and I love this brand because it only has one ingredient and that's chickpea flour it's also pretty tasty it cooks up and it has a nice texture there's so many different brands of chickpea pastas and bean pastas on the market so you can definitely find something local to you I'm sure um, but what we like to do is if I'm just not really in the mood to cook, I'll make a pot of this chickpea pasta and I'll do a cashew basil pesto. The recipe's on my site. Absolutely amazing and delicious and super fast. Dinner is ready in like 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes I like to throw veggies in there too. Like I'll add, um, I'll just add some steamed veggies. And what I, if I'm like really trying not to do too many dishes, I'll put the pot of water to boil and then I'll put a steamer basket in the top. So I'll put the chickpea pasta in the bottom, steamer basket in the top, add some chopped up veggies in there. And so then they cook at the same time and then you have this nice pasta primavera. All right, other fun stuff. 
This is sun-dried tomatoes, and these are grilled artichoke hearts. These are like two of my favorite foods ever. So, so tasty. I can eat these out of the jar, but I also like to use them as uh, bases for dips or different dressings because they add a nice depth of flavor that you don't get just from, let's say, regular tomatoes. We're doing a vegan week, so we also got a few different types of beans. Uh, these are just white beans, and what I like about this brand in particular is that these all come in glass jars instead of cans. And in my house, we try to limit our exposure to chemicals as much as possible and plastic as much as possible, just because it's not great for our hormones or our health. And so, um, so yeah, so I was really psyched to find these in a glass jar. Uh, the brand is called Biona Organic. It's UK based, so it's pretty easy to find here in Dubai and I'm sure in Europe, throughout Europe, in terms of US. Not sure if it's there, but you may be able to find a similar brand that is packaged in, in glass. We also got some nut butters and we got some peanut butter for my husband who loves peanut butter. I got some cashew butter and we love these drizzled on smoothie bowls in the morning or sometimes we'll do quinoa bowls. And the important thing whenever you're buying nut butter is that you do want to look at the ingredient list because a lot of nut butters do have sugar, added sugar, added palm oil or other thickeners or emulsifiers, all sorts of weird things that they throw in there. So this one has only one ingredient, cashew nuts. Sometimes you'll find nut butters that have the nuts plus salt, not bad, but anything else, any sort of oil or sugar, high fructose corn syrup, any of that stuff, definitely no. So make sure, I know it's like very easy to go on autopilot when you're buying things like nut butter because you just assume there's only one ingredient in there, but there's usually not. So do read your ingredient list and make sure you're choosing a brand that uh, that only has nuts as your ingredient. And I think that's it. Oh, I also bought some quinoa. Um, we like to make this. Sometimes, like I said, we'll do quinoa breakfast bowls or we'll add some quinoa to a salad for some protein. And yeah, super quick to make. It cooks up in like 10, 15 minutes. So we, we love having quinoa in hand. And that's pretty much it. That's all we have this week. Um, of course, this is the bulk of my grocery shopping. I do still have some fruit and things left over from our last round of grocery shopping. But I just hope this was helpful to give you some ideas on things that you can purchase uh, and, and ways you can incorporate more produce into your diet. If you guys wanna learn more on how to select the healthiest foods in every single aisle of the grocery store, from your produce, to your meat, to your animal products, and eggs, to your packaged foods, protein powders, snacks, and everything in between, be sure to check out my book, The Real Food Grocery Guide, which is right here. And you can find it on Amazon or wherever books are sold.